A lot of weddings have a signature cocktail, so one way to really showcase it is by making a cocktail menu. And so for this one, we're gonna use chalkboard paint, which is a really great, um, fun, kind of rustic material when you write on it. You could also do this for your menu. You can do it even for table numbers. But I thought that it would be nice to do this for a cocktail menu right by the bar. What I have here is this galvanized tray that I got at a garden store. And I'm just painting it with a chalkboard paint with a regular bristle brush. I don't need to worry about getting messy on the sides because I'm gonna cover those sides up, which I'll show you in the next step. You're gonna probably wanna do two coats so that you don't see any streaks or you don't see any of the tray behind it. So I, I always like to go in random patterns when I paint so that there's not perfect stripes down the chalkboard afterwards when it dries. So that would be layer one. And then for the second layer, it's always good to sand in between um, layers when you're painting. So you can see here, this one's pretty smooth, but I'll just show you. This is 150 grit. You know, it's a fine grit sandpaper. I love these pads because they're easy to hold rather than an actual piece of paper. And you just kind of rub it like this. And that's just gonna smooth out any of those stroke marks on there. And it's okay that it's like, you can see that it's like kind of changed the color because we're gonna do chalk on it anyway. So it's gonna have that little bit of a gray tone. So once you have about two coats of the paint on there, we're gonna decorate the outside frame with moss. And I'm using a preserved sheet moss, also from the garden store. And I've, it comes in, big, in bigger sheets and I've ripped it up in smaller ones so it's just easier for me to work with. And like every, anytime I work with moss for projects like this, especially with gluing um, moss, you wanna just clean off the back a little bit because there's always some extra dirt on there. I'm gonna use hot glue for this because I'm doing the whole frame. I don't wanna use a white glue. It's gonna take too long to dry. This is a faster way to do it. You wanna make sure you have a lot of glue sticks on hand because you will be squirting out a lot of glue at once. I'll start in one corner and I'm just gonna start putting some glue on the inside, sticking down the moss like that. And I, I like to over, like go a little bit onto the chalkboard so that it's gonna frame it nicely. So it's okay if you have some pieces of moss sticking out a little bit. So then the top here, you can just trim it off. And I'm just gonna fold this over. So I'll add a little bit of glue there and hold it in place to go around the edge. And then I'm just gonna keep adding more. So I'll break it into pieces about the width of um, the rim here on your, on your board. So. And you could just piece it together. So on this end, since I had a little bit of overlap there, I'm just gonna, oh, a leaf. I'm gonna overlap it a little bit here. So I'll just secure that down. And then I'm gonna secure underneath that. So I'm just gonna lift that up now that it's adhered there and do a little bit. You can work in sections also here with the glue because you don't want to do too much glue and it dry before you are able to stick the moss down. So I'll do that there and then fold that moss back and do maybe a little bit more. Working kind of quickly with the hot glue. So you see it's starting to just go around. If you have hangover on the back, you can just pull it. This is actually not so bad. But it's gonna be, you don't need to worry about the back because it'll probably be leaning against, you know, you could put it on an easel, lean it up against a tree. I'm just gonna continue to put glue. I always kind of start on the inside and then work over the lip here. And I'm just gonna fold this piece over. See, I need to add more glue. Do the rim there. 
and then do the back here. Kind of like pull it and stretch it so that it's kind of taut on there. And it's starting to come together. And if you have pieces like you see here, it's a little brown, you can always pull off a little bit of your sheet moss and go in with like a little bit of glue and stick some of those flaky green pieces on there. But you see, so I'm gonna do this around the entire frame and it's gonna look really neat. It lines up looking like this, which is really cool. And before I write on it, I'm just gonna take a piece of chalk and give it a, a rub here. You want to give it one rub of chalk all over it with, I just used the side of the chalk like this. Because the first time you write on it, you don't want to leave ghost letters. If you write and you make a mistake and you want to erase it, which is also great about a chalkboard is that you can erase it. You don't want to leave ghost letters though. So I'm just going to rub that around. And then you can write on it. And whatever your signature cocktail is, you can display it on this nice menu.